So right now we're in a, a business development phase and what we're looking at are two very distinct pieces that work simultaneously. One is the equipment shop that's necessary to provide uh, maintenance and operation on the heavy equipment and the heavy equipment technician program, a place to operate. And the second phase is the process loop. That loop will be a fully contained, fully operational transmission line where process operators, emergency response, safety training personnel can go out and say, hey, there's a simulated leak, there's a simulated loss, or there's a catastrophic break in the pipeline. What do we do? You know, one of the interesting things about this project versus other pilots that we've been involved in is it allows us direct access to people that will be employable in our business. Whether it's local Albertans, whether it's local First Nations individuals, we are looking to bring on a diverse nature of people into our workplace, and this is a great opportunity to get highly skilled candidates. Okay, so everybody, you're gonna be checking your engine oil level. So we're working with both Midwest and Bannister pipelines on this particular project. Those are two of the construction companies that help build our pipelines. We're a company that puts the projects together and wants to get them built. So it's a great three-way partnership along with Portage College. Once we've gone through the formalized training piece, um, they actually have been able to give them placements with Midwest and Bannister, and Midwest and Bannister have been, have been kind enough to, to accept this group uh, to go through the training, or to, to go through real life experiences. And so um, this, is a, this is a job placement that they're gonna get three to four months of job placement after they've completed the, the training. We are looking for high quality people in our industry at all times, whether it's for our contractors or working directly for Enbridge. So this is an opportunity for us to give to the community and to get a high-valued employee potentially out in the future. I would like to be a role model towards young guys and tell them it's a good company to go with and to learn. And after I advance higher, like maybe a truck driver, hauling equipment or pipe, and I would enjoy that too. What has been unique about this group is that they have uh, they've built a bond and have worked really close knit and, and they've developed some friendships beyond just the classroom settings. And uh, that's been an internal support system that we didn't, I didn't anticipate that there'd be such a, a good mesh. We hoped for it, uh, but definitely we've seen some great camaraderie and, and support within the group for each other. And, and that's been uh, very crucial to, uh, to the success of the program. I think that that's probably the best part of the program is meeting the people, getting to know them and doing things as a group. <laughs> Definitely a change from home, being home every day, just like all the basics, cooking, cleaning and stuff, and then all of a sudden I'm away from home and it's a big change, but it's definitely worth it. Gained a lot of skill and experience and wouldn't change it. <laughs> I'd do it again. 